The life of a solo can be tough. Heavily outnumbered and struggling to get basically anything done is an ordinary wipe for a solo. But this wipe, things were different. Well, I was still heavily outnumbered, but the things that I accomplished this wipe makes these 3 days one of my best solo wipes in my 6000 hours of rust. Making multiple groups rage quit, online raiding, online raid defending, and on top of that one of my craziest rig runs. Wait, and this no. wipe I would not settle okay, for a simple 2x1. This wipe we built big and to be exact, this wipe we would build my new base design. There's loads of shooter games out there but this game truly stands out. Mech Arena is a 5v5 mech shooter that's really relaxing and fun to play, but also great to look at. The game runs really smoothly and looks good on almost any device. The fact that the game is on mobile is probably one of my favorite aspects of the game, meaning that no matter where I am, I can enter the arena. Mech Arena have just released a great pilots feature with 12 completely unique pilots to choose from. The addition of pilots adds a whole new depth of both strategy and gameplay variety. Customize and collect new pilots which you can pair with your mechs. Discover new combinations and tactics to outsmart and outplay your opponents. The pilot feature has added tons of new strategies to the game since each pilot has full customizable skills. On top of that, Mech Arena is adding another pilot and a brand new mech to the game this month, so there is a lot more to come. It's completely free to play on both Android and iOS right now, so if you want you can use my personal link or scan the QR code right here to get the Steel Reaper skin, 500A coins and 70,000 credits to help boost your start in the game. If you're quick you can add me and we can run some matches together. Okay, wipe day. Feels good. Good luck man. Every naked running to their base location. Talking about base location, I actually think I'm going to build somewhere here. This area looks insane. Got some really nice monuments there. Very fast wipe, man. Only one and a half hour delayed. Good luck, guys. Good luck, boys. Some hold on rust moments. If you can't tell, I got Corona, <laughs> but we're playing anyway, and my name is Corona Bob. Just gonna try and run to the location, see how far we can get before we die. Why are they talking to each other in game? Oh. Oh shit. Man, take stone! I drop you, I drop you! Don't shoot, please, man! But yeah, service looking really good. Map City is really, really nice. If we can get a base somewhere close to this, we're set for the wipe. It is fresh wipe, so I think what we'll try to do today is just get base down. Uh, maybe get a tier 3, get some guns, something like that, but probably prioritize base. We got most BPs, pretty much all of them. <laughs> I have the best base design. I honestly can't believe I came up with such a nice base design. It sounds like I have the biggest ego ever now, but it's a really sick base design and it only costs like 80k stone, which really isn't a lot. If you have inner peaks, wide gaps, open core, roof peak ups, like it's pretty cheap. I'd say 80k, that's on the cheaper side of those bases. We need to get to the base spot fast. Because I'm legit planning to build where all the groups are going to build. So we need to get there first. Oh wow, this base spot is amazing. Why have no one built here though? Just gotta get a TC down. As of now, there weren't too many players in the area. The reason behind that was most likely because of the delayed server wipe. To secure the base location, I placed down a TC to claim the spot. And after that, I farmed up all the necessary resources to finish off my starter base. Okay, let's see if we can get a base down. Got quite a lot of mats. We already have a TC, but we need to demolish it. There we go. There we go. 
Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Okay, we got a base down. In a really, really nice spot. So bad at both PvP. Holy shit. Yeah, we need to get out of bow. We need to. Uh, I can't speak. We need to get out of bow stage. Too bad at this shit. Oh, that's perfect. We get a Hasi. Can recycle the melee then. Oh, I have an idea. What if the crates. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, we had some shit. Thank you. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep on doing this. Went pretty good. Got 137 scrap. Craft up a tier 1 now. Get Neil, Yann and Crossy going. And we just keep doing the same thing. We loot our own melee. Can't even try to run melee. They haven't been in the groups here. This guy's so. Thank you. Yeah, okay. We're going back to base. Extra house is really nice. He has some nice cloth as well. Oh shit. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, there's so many. I'm dead. Yeah, nice. That's one way to lose my only houses. I need to go have dinner. It's not a good time to have dinner, but I need to. No, don't really have any choice. Time to take a break. Oh yeah, I'm done with prim PvP. We need to get a tier 2 somehow. There we go. Oh shit, thank you. I then managed to loot the train system for some easy scrap, but after that I just continued running into Kino's group who were living right next to me. I then decided to leave the area because there was no way I was going to win any fights against their 6 man group with bows. Instead I took a boat to an island not too far away to farm up some resources. Oh yeah, there's so many nodes! We're gonna be able to farm up main base in no time. I think we're gonna have to upgrade the base a bit. Probably gonna get raided otherwise. There we go. Come on, man. Oh, he That's sounds terrible. so oh, sad. Wait, man. Can you just let us have this, please, dude? I need it. Good I'm the good laps. I think they cleared it. Can you just wait for response? Oh shit, there's people right above. Now I want to leave. But I'm not quite sure how. So many people above. I think it's night time now. The move could be to just dip now. But I'm so greedy, I just want more and more. Which really isn't a good thing. We'll stay for a few more minutes, then we'll leave. I should have left. It's not too late to leave. 
Yeah, I'm out. Ooh, we made it. Trigger for me. Wait, he's not dead. There we go. These guys are many. Oh shit, we're running out of bullets. Time to go back to base. I wanna offline raid these guys. All they do is roof camp. Let's see if I can grab them. I'm gonna craft some ladders and try to ladder up on their base. Yeah, there are quite a few. Running away now. Roof camping as always. So sad. They're holding each other when they're farming animals. And the animal they legit killed from the roof. Oh my god. And then there's another roof camper. Roof camping bots. Come on. Oh, they have a furnace base now as well. Yeah, they could be coming to raid me. This is so sad. Why do you roof camp, man? Okay, they don't really want to talk. I think what he said is uh, you should upgrade base because I'm coming to found the wipe this 2x2. Two two. Pretty good advice. I think I'm gonna go do some farming. After I'd taken their hidden message into consideration, I decided to head over to launch site for some early wipe PvP. Going back to base. This is so grubby. Oh, I see a guy farming. He's farming barrels. I need to kill him. Oh shit, they're taking Brad. I don't think I have enough ammo to go back. that Ooh. Sewing kits. Perfect. Oh. 
How many are they? Oh my god, this has to be my neighbors. Yeah, it is. Roof camping bots. I'm like six deep. This is so cheap to raid. Once I was done messing around in Kino's space, it was time for me to start working on mine, since my main goal for the day was to have it finished. Hey, nice. To speed up the whole build process, I ran over to Outpost to buy myself a jackhammer. After farming my way back to base, I encountered some enemies. What are many they are? I just lost so much shit. Like, what the fuck is this? Eventually, I managed to buy myself two jack cameras, which really sped up the whole process of building my own little castle. This is finally done. I think everything is placed actually. We got the pickups done. Can I actually give you a little bit of base tour, I guess. We got the, the wide gaps. Yeah, yeah, wide gaps. Some normal peaks we can drop down. We got pickups here. And we have an open core inside. Here. So I have like battery here, vending machine here, bunch of boxes. Bunch of boxes. Boxes on the floor. Some kits, and I think that's about it. And then we have a drop down here, and we have the inner peaks. Really nice base design. Actually, going to add this as well. Just to section up the inner peaks a bit. Make it easier to defend there and limit movement for raiders. Later on this day, I also realized that countering or even PvPing in launch site was useless for me as a solo. The players who took Bradley did from Rocket and they were holding it down by camping with snipers. That in combination with all the grubs made it impossible for me to get basically anything done. So once again I drove over to Underwater Labs to secure some more components for the second day of the wipe, when my adventure truly would begin. Well that was an easy run. <laughs> oh it's so busted. I love it. Now we got everything we need for success tomorrow, I guess. Compox is looking so good. After getting a visit from my neighbors at 2am, I moved all my loot upstairs so that I hopefully could wake up with some loot left the upcoming day. Okay. <laughs> I feel like my voice is going to sound so weird because I just woke up, so you get the morning voice, and then I'm sick as well. But I, it doesn't look like we're offline. I mean, I can see my TC, and we have upkeep. Looks good. 
so yesterday did not go so well uh, regarding guns and all that stuff but apart from that it went well we have base up and uh, i guess we just focus pvp today I swear melee is taken 24 7 can't do anything Oh, there it is. They're probably camping somewhere. I had like no loot on them though. There's someone on me. Oh, there's people taking bread. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna see if I can get up in the tower. I'm gonna try and play this quite safe. I think mean, they're taking it out mound though. That's quite hard for me to counter. Guy behind me. Seems like a grub. I think he has a saw. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, there are people up there. Yeah, the rocket thing from Rocket. I don't really think I can do much. I got two stars, so I'm gonna go back. My two roof camping neighbors had progressed quite far, and as always, they were on the roof, killing anything that moved within a 200 meter range of their bases. They were roof camping each other, which kept them busy for the moment, but I knew that I eventually would have to raid them before they made a move on me. Oh shit. Where is his gun? Did he not have a gun? Has to be a roof camper. Or maybe not. No, I don't think that's a roof camper. Nope. I think I'm behind him. Or he's dead. What the fuck was that? Easy AK, I guess.
Ooh, well, nice, thank you. That's the scientist on top. Uh, I was going to go buy a mini, but I guess we go for that instead. Hope no one takes my <laughs> my scrap in the compound. No, oh, that was not a lot. Wait, that's the big group. What are they doing out here? With crosses. I'm going for that. this What the fuck? Okay, I'm out. We just wiped so many. We can't die now. Holy shit, we got four stars. What the hell? I think we wiped like a six man. <laughs> uh, four stars, one M9. Yep, these guys are gonna raid me. <laughs> They're following me back to base, I bet. Or they're chasing me, I'm not quite sure. Do you wanna know where I live? Come with me. This is my base. Homemade base design. You like it? Don't talk shit about my base. The guy trash talking my base here was Caesarea. Caesarea had just lost a fight against Solo. Caesarea also happens to be a teammate to Kino. After I'd wiped Kino's group and their last crafted gear sets, they left the server. I wanted the feud between us to continue for a little longer, but at the same time, I now only had one more roof camper left to evict. There it is. Oh shit, there's a minute.
Yo, I understand, I understand you're all about the sneaky life and stuff, but that's me fucking weird. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know what they're talking about. I made bank. Get shit on. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. So much loot. So much farm and a free mini. That's perfect. Yeah, we may need to set up turrets. I feel I'm not gonna be able to use the mini right away. So I want some turrets covering it. I think we got the ripping we need though. I think I have the VP. Yeah. Fun high claw. Yeah, we get way more than 10 from killing those guys. And then we need a battery. Perfect. Okay, looking good. Just gotta set up the turrets. Okay, sweet. We got the red set up. I love these peaks. They're so nasty. Easy raid defense. Then we get straight up to the shooting floor. And if we go down to the front door. Wow, I've been talking so much, but I wasn't recording. Uh, it turns out that uh, the group that I just stole the heli from, they just bought another heli, or they transfer the heli there or <laughs> however you wanna wanna put it out and yeah i'm gonna see if i can go kill them because i want to get raided and i seemed really pissed after the first one so imagine if i steal another heli shit What? Why was he sitting there? That's so strange. Why would he not shoot me before? Oh, that's so weird. I did destroy their heli though. That's a dub in my book. Oh, I know a way to get out. I can loot him. Oh, I need wood. Can't believe he got stuck in there. Here we go. How does he mess up that bad? We got all the loot. And we made him lose two alleys. Oh, these guys are mad. One of them had a clan tie, VC. Never heard of. Ooh, that's really good. And drop it, thank you. We're getting so lucky. Got two MP5s. Got a decent set as well. I'm a deep of the set though. We need it uh, as a raid defense kit. We already have the AK we got from the Russians. I wanna save up on some MLRS rockets as well. We need to start spamming melee. 
Because I'm going to offline one of those roof campers who live next to me at U12, U11. Not gonna let both of them stay. And if I get enough boom from raiding one of them, I'm raiding the other one with it. There's no way. These guys are going to rage. They're going to get me raided. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get raided. I've stolen three minis from them now. What the fuck? Hey, how you doing? Oh, it's you. Fucking hell, man. Oh, they bought another mini. That's cute. I think I'm getting myself offline if I destroy another one. Speaking of offlines, it was now time for me to start gathering enough resources to get rid of the remaining roof campers. Oh my god, I whiffed that so hard. I think there were only two. Oh shit. I think these are the Russians. Stack is still. I think only one of them had a gun. Couldn't find the other one. It's only SARS anyway, I don't need it. Oh shit. They're down there. I'm a dead man. I don't have enough bullets. I might just try to leave with my boat. I'm not gonna fight them with a fucking sword. Oh shit, I see them. Please don't kill me. We're out. Let's go. We get so much farm. After doing some farming and the furnaces were running, I went to counter military tunnels. Stupid as I am, I forgot to record, but I managed to kill a guy inside melee for two MP5s and one SAR. I then started the recording as soon as I heard the elevator reach the top of the train station. Oh my god. They're actually loaded. Holy shit. Oh no, they have so much loot. I don't wanna overstay. We go with that. I'm gonna come back and grab those guns. Holy shit, that's so many comps. I'm gonna just deep in my large furnace and go back. Actually, that's so much loot.
I'm sorry, man. I am just a naked trying to get some, get a start over here. Oh, Corona pop. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, can, can, no, can, no, can, no, can no. Just forget my name real quick. <laughs> Corona pop. I hope no one is in my compound. There's so much loot in there. Quick look at what we got. Oof, so much loot. Come, 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 come. We're going into Roof Camper's compound, okay? Come on. Yeah, 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 I'm with you. Get some cloth, you may need it. Be quiet when we get close. Roof campers. Yeah, these guys roof camp all the fucking time. So don't fuck me over, I trust you on this one. I, I, I won't, I won't. I don't know. You should be able to. I'm 4 HP, I'm dead. Oh, you made it. Oh, there's a lot of turrets. And there was also a lot of wood in their furnaces. This is an old trick that players have used for years, to act like they're online even though all of their players are sleeping inside the base. I continued to scout their base and managed to get quite deep. I therefore crafted up some explosive ammo to see how far that could get me. I'm so confused. Is this main loot under? I guess we get like four rockets and we get back over here and we raid it. I think that's the way to go. Yeah, this is going to be weird. I guess maybe rocket like there. I think there's going to be one entrance here as well. In one there. So maybe we rock it there or there. I think there. Yeah, we go for it. We got some loot. That's into the core. I can't go down here and loot, I think. Mr. Crab. Yeah, there's no loot here. I should be able to rock it out from here without dying. Oh shit, I killed someone. This is bad. They're gonna be logging on soon, I think. Okay, I'm dropping down now. Wish me luck. Yeah. Just as I expected. DB. M39, though, no, that's nice. I think they have all their main loot in there. I crafted up some more rockets to finish this raid, but the base now had some random players inside it, which I had to get rid of before I could continue. They have fucking... Oh my god. It's 
fucking go. Please be loaded. I feel like they moved loot. I couldn't find any before. Oh no, this is gonna be loaded. What? Okay. Oh shit! Please be some sulfur. Come on. Why is it all empty? They have moved loot somewhere. It could be upstairs. I think I can splash those loot rooms. There must be loot somewhere. I think they moved it. I don't know. Why? No, this is so weird. The base owners were dumb enough to not lock the main TC, which meant that I could seal the raid. By the looks of it, they had despawner loot. After making a group with both AKs and M2s leave the raid, I continued raiding two of the multi TCs and a nearby base to see if they could have moved their loot. And uh, it was at this point that I started to question the state of my mental health. What the fuck? Yeah, this this day is going well. Yep. This is not it. Oh, may loot, may loot, may loot. Yeah. Why does he lock the TC? Who taught him this? I think I used way too much. One, two, three. This night did not end as expected. I thought I would be flying home with heaps of sulfur guns and components, but instead all I had to do was a few trips with my heldy to transfer the farm that I had acquired. Sure, the box of metal frags allowed me to upgrade more or less my entire base to metal, but that was not what I was looking for. Waking up my third and soon to be last day on the server, I heard that Bradley was being taken. Since I had spent more or less all my gunpowder and explosives, I didn't have enough ammo to bring out an AK, so I had to go with the good old Zar. As I was roaming the map, I heard a nearby raid, which I quickly ran over to investigate. Holy fuck. Is there still loot in it? Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> we're running back to base. Just a bunch of shit guns, but hopefully we can sell this for really cheap. Get a bunch of sulfur. And uh, do even more raids. Today I just want to PvP. Maybe do some rigs, have some nice rig PvP. Hopefully get raided. Yeah, I think that's about it. Let me just undercut all the shops. We're selling SARS for 300 sulfur. Fuck it. Then we sell Tommies for 500. I don't think there's any Tommies out on the market. I think all of them have been <laughs> bought up by someone. Shortly after my tier 2 guns were listed, Bradley was being taken once again. Ooh. <coughs> 
Ouais, c'est la guerre en fake. Oh shit. I think the crates are out. I think the crates are looted. Who looted the crates? Oh, I see. He's just hiding. He's not peeking me at all. I'm gonna see if I can flank him. He's running. He's dead. I whiffed so hard, but it was so hard to see him. This guy didn't even loot the crates. Okay, the crates are looted, I'm out. I was going down my lunch, I haven't warmed up. My AK spray wasn't even that bad, to be fair. But in the end, I was just spraying all over my screen. Praying that one of the shots would hit, because I couldn't see him. It was becoming quite dark, and because of the cold, you can't really see. But fuck anything. Okay, I want to go do a small rig. We start off with small rig, and then we do large. It's not spawned yet, but I think if we're lucky enough, I don't think there's going to be any big bases around there, but... If we're lucky enough, we can land on Lighthouse and wait for Ring. That would be quite sick. It's not even loading in. Okay, base is pretty big. There we go, it's out. Holy shit. There's a heavy coming. Oof. Oh. Wait, there's another one? Wait, no! Okay, we're dead. Oh my god. There's still one on it. I have no clue where this guy is. Not a mini coming. He jumped out. They got people on camps as well. I'm dead. Not 
Okay. Are they really that scared? That's what they did. Yeah. They never sent on people to counter the last time. They just dropped on people to get their sets. To scuba dive and get their kids. That's so pathetic. Well. That was one crazy rig run. <laughs> Can't take that away from it. There's people on here. Come on. Yeah, we out. Oh shit. For the amount of people we killed, we really didn't get much loot. <laughs> but that was one crazy fight. Oh shit, yeah. That's one hell of a rig fight. I wanted to finish off this wipe with a boom. Well, to be specific, a big boom. But for me to be able to online raid someone, I would need even more sulfur than the amount my shop would bring me. So, once again, I grabbed my jackhammer. Who's that? Wait, what? Does someone live here? Yeah, I'm going back to base. I have so much farm. This island was insane. I farmed like the entire island. So nice. Oh, we had a DB. <laughs> to make a long story short, I used the giant excavator to mine myself even more sulfur. And as I was taking it, I get grabbed by an AK kit who was hiding under a train. Clever as I am, I had already stashed 3 rows of sulfur, so the fact that I lost 2 rows of sulfur, an AK kit, and a C4 wasn't all that bad. I wanted revenge on this grub, so I quickly found their massive compound, and as I was in there, I saw an open door. I therefore wanted to see if I could raid the tower with nothing more than 4C4s, but it really didn't go as planned. Oh shit! What? Why is he a fucking beamer? Oh shit. This is bad. I don't think they know. Now they do. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, GG's. <laughs> uh. That looks like an AK. And I like AK, so I'm gonna go now. Come on. Bye bye. That was so worth it. 4C4. And I got so much loot. Oh shit. 4C4 for one AK set. Love to see it. The Bradley takedowns were not over for the day, but this time it was a lot more intense than the previous events.
Bradley's under me. That's perfect. That guy has to be there. He's going to L9 abuse. His teammates are gonna come back. Holy shit. Oh, there's so much we need to loot. Out. We have a lot of loot on us. No need to be greedy. I have no clue where the rest of the loot is. Actually, I do. I do know. There's one guy I haven't looted. Let's be a little bit greedy. Now we get all the loot. I'm gonna get up in tower. I played that like such a rat, but sometimes that's how we gotta play as a solo. We haven't won yet though, we need to get home with this. And half the loot is laying out here. Straight into the forest like the rat we are. <laughs> Oh, can't believe we clutched that though. That's some decent loot. Bradley was ass though. But we do need two armor doors and MLRS rockets is quite nice, even though <laughs> those rockets are guaranteed. Let's see if we can go in and loot some more. Why would they take Brad here though, but not hold the tower? Makes no sense to me. Why did that guy not peek me again? I'm so confused right now. I wonder how many they are. I didn't even see that guy. That was just 100% instinct. But that works too. Hey, I'm out. Not gonna overstay this. Not again. 
We've done that a few times now. Sometimes you get a surprised enemy, you know? <laughs> he was not ready for that. Yeah, we come back and get the rest. The group who I previously stole a great amount of helis from had done it again. Once again, Dead served me a heli on a silver platter, and I obviously had to go and steal another one. I'm like alone in Tokyo, but I have a gun. You fucked that so bad. I whiffed so hard. Yo, bro, that's so sad, bro. That is so sad. GG, bro. Like, what, what, what's your, what's your need to be here? Like, why are you just sitting in our comp and being a pussy? I mean, I understand you're solo and you gotta do shit, but then raid- I just got dude. here, the fuck you mean? No, what the fuck? I don't care when you go- I don't care when you got here. How many hours do you have on this game? Way too many. How many hours is that? That's not really an hour. How many hours do you have? I told you way too many. Interesting. Interesting. I couldn't care less, bro. Have a good day, man. Bye. Enjoy yourself, mate. I feel bad. I'm not gonna give them this loot. I'm leaving soon anyway, so. But I really want that mini, so I'm not gonna give it back, man. <laughs> They can have this loot. It's quite a lot of loot. I think they can have some fun with that. It was getting late and since it was the third day of the wipe, I knew that if I was going to get raided, it would be today. But as I was outside placing bags, some enemies came knocking. What the fuck? Oh shit. I was not ready for this. Ah, oh, shit.
Yeah, they're laddering you. Why do I whiff that? They're just gonna loot bodies now. Oh shit. Oh, any rock gets me. They're gonna rock PvP, I'm going to this one. They get encounter. I don't think they have that many left. I need to see the combat. I need to get a ceiling set. I think we won the rain. Just gotta seal the base.
can't seal the compound. There we go, they're all there. Uh, GG, man. GG's, man. I need to see the compound. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and so many gear sets on them. 40 to 50 rockets were used on my base, but the core was left untouched. But sadly, I only managed to get a few rockets from the raiders. Once the raid had cooled down and my base was sealed, I brewed some additional explosives and crafted some rockets with my remaining cooked sulfur. My target was now the group which I'd been stealing helis from, but this time I was aiming for a lot more than just a heli. Oh wow, I'm so stupid. I'm just going to deal with that, okay. I whipped that so hard. Why did I even hip fire him? <laughs> oh shit! That's a lot of sulfur. Oh, we had some boom. Almost through, I think. I think they have a lot more doors. I don't think I have enough. They're probably holding you. Oh, that's so scary, what the hell? There's no way I have enough boom for this. I got three rockets more. Where even is main though? Well, I don't have any more boot. So I guess the raid is over. <laughs> I don't know. The solo life is a draining one, and I know that if I would have used all the sulfur ore in my base, I would have had more than enough to finish this raid. Sometimes you just feel like enough is enough, and that's exactly what I felt. I was done with the server, so as ironically as it may seem, I ended up giving away my base to the same group that I just tried to raid. I want to thank you for making it to the end of the video, I put a lot of time and effort into making this, so if you have any feedback or comments, feel free to share them below.